Hello! Right, welcome back to another episode. It's the 2nd of September today, so I've just uploaded the last video. If you haven't seen that clip down here somewhere. But this month we're just gonna carry on working on the mini, get some more welding done, some grinding, um, try and get the, the driver's side sill all sorted and buttoned up. I got this parcel the other day. Just a, a gift from someone, and it's basically every seal on the mini. Um, so thanks, Pete, for that. If you're watching, I'll get put to good use. So that's awesome. Cheers, Pete. Time to fill this hole. Card template. Pack panel. A couple of spot welds. In on this panel here, fit in quite nicely now. And there we go, one hole fixed. Um, we're not going to talk about my welding again. Still a little bit, bit to go up here. Um, it was just really thin, so floor pan is welded along this edge. So here we've got the driver's flitch panel, or part of the inner wing. I gave up on my. On my repair panel, I just flattened it out. Figured I'll try and weld it along the top and then bend it down while it's in place. A couple of shout outs this week from uh, Dave Jaguar 66. He was trying to give me a couple of tips on welding. Um, I need to do a bit more practice, really, but. While I practice, I might as well do it on the car, I think. So there's that uh, spatter build up that Dave was telling me about. Got to clear that out. Look! I know what I'm doing looks crap and I'm making it all worse. But I figure if I put too much on it, then I can just grind it off and it's still going to be solid. Maybe I should do some videos, learn how to weld. Watch me and see what you shouldn't do. <laughs> Solid. And there we have it. Ground down. Still looks pretty terrible. Bent that edge down. Uh, got to drill a hole for a spot weld. And I'll weld that in. There's two ways. There's doing it right and there's getting it done. Don't let perfect stand in the way of good enough. And don't be frightened to have a go. If you don't know what you're doing, eh, who cares? You'll learn. I realised on the last video how many times I say, eh, it's not the best. But then rusty hole. So I need to give a shout out for uh, Tom 
over on Total Car Reviews featured my video. Every week he does a featured car of the week. I made him a little video, sent it to him, and he put it, put my little clip in his last video. So, uh, cheers for that, Tom. I've had a, quite a few new subscribers, so, uh, hi guys. So, yeah, cheers, cheers for that, Tom. Right, so there we go. Got some welding done. Better than the rusty old crap that was there. So, yeah, I think I'll grind that back and then uh, see where we are. Excuse the red. I ran out of grey, so nice shade of red it is. So we've got that patch welded in. Got that uh, floor repair panel now welded to the front of the car. Use of the red paint. Right, I just need to put these spot welds in along this edge, along the edge of the floor panel here, and then the floor is 100% in. There we go. Well, I did all along that step. Still got this gap to fill in the end and the uh, little spot welds just there. Made up a little card template slots in just behind there. And then I can drill some more holes there, spot weld that on, seam weld that up there, a couple of spot welds, seam weld down there, and it should tie it together nicely. So let's cut that out in steel. Alright, so just a little colour change. That's a, um, it's a weld through primer. Um, so, as you can see, I've drilled three spot weld holes there, or plug weld holes, and that should fit up in there quite nicely. Plug weld, plug weld, a little bit of a seam, a little bit of a seam weld there. Here's the finished product. Um, so it's just just to tie those two panels in where I had that gap. Um, it's not great looking, but I've got a solid front floor now. So now I've got a solid floor. I installed this sweet bucket seat. Now I get to sit in it and make brum brum noises. Brum brum, brum brum. I thought I'd have a look at this corner because there was. A big chunk missing. Um, so I made up a little tab and I'll just weld that in there and then trim off the excess. Right, so there's my little patch clamped in there. Just a little tack weld. I'll come and put one on the end. So yeah, I'll just carry on putting little spot welds in and then it should be solid and then I can drill a new hole. So there's my little repair panel, just a few tacks around here, put a new hole in, but yeah, pretty happy with that. We've got this hole in here. So I made a little template of that curve and uh, I'm gonna just chop out and see what we've got. Alright there we go I've cut this out. Um, this is the 
part of the inner arch that I'm going to need to replace because that is that's got holes and rust and all sorts in there. So I'll replace this front part first. Um, and what I've got to help me with that is a, uh, a bit of copper pipe cut down the middle and uh, flattened out, and that'll go in behind there and hopefully stop any uh, blow throughs. Right, back again. So I've got that tacked in now. Left it a little while to um, let it cool down. I don't want to warp this panel too much. Oops. Yeah, you fell off there, didn't you? Right, so as you can see there, some of my lovely welds. Alright, and there's the finished product. I tried to take my time on this one. No warping that I can see. Just a little bit of filler in that corner. Good as new. Next, we've got to go in here. Right, it's now about quarter past six Saturday night. I just pulled the subframe and I didn't actually film it. I just thought, you know what, I'm just going to crack on and do it. Two bolts either side in the boot, two bolts in the back. And this was the last one, the last bolt, and that snapped. How gutted. So it's relatively solid. It's a bit crusty. Needs cleaning up. Same with a subframe. It's solid. It's just crusty. Just needs a good clean up. Here I've wire brushed it a little bit. Just to have a look. Looks pretty solid. Get in. Alright, welcome back. Quick hour in the garage tonight. Been using the old wire wheel on the grinder. A couple of patches at the back and at the front need doing but this heel board is not looking too healthy so I might have to do a heel board end. I'm not going to do the whole thing. That's my lovely beautiful patch down there. Not looking too bad. It's a good job I took the subframe off before I put the outer sill back on otherwise we'll have a bit of a job doing all that so yeah there we go right so that's it for this month today is the 29th of September my 28th birthday and I did get a couple of uh, vouchers for minispares.com so that should help with the project help me get a couple of bits didn't get as much done this month as I thought I would everything just seems to take a bit longer than I think it will I also had a week away in North Wales with my wife Check out this awesome waterfall. I didn't get the sill finished off like I'd hoped and I've just found that I need that hill board repair and I've just bought new jacking points uh, that need to go in the sill before that goes on anyway. Tomorrow is the mini action day at Castle Coombe. If you see me there, come and say hi. I'll take some video just in case you can't make it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.